Arista with Travel Roller. I'm going to show you the top three exercises for a healthy back. Your body is like a tree. It must have great posture and it must be strong through its tree trunk all the way down to its roots. So its roots are the stability, but it also has to have great mobility so that it can weather the winds and the storms and the rain just like your body has to weather stress, training, working out, and working, and life, and driving a car. So in order to have a really healthy spine and back, you must have a well-balanced body. And by doing that, we are actually going to affect the fascia using a trial roller. So the first thing that I would like you to try would be to take out your acupressure ball, and roll the bottom of your feet. So we're rolling through the arches of the foot, getting nice and deep into the toes, changing the length of that superficial back line, which runs from your feet, through your calves, your hamstrings, your erector spinae muscles, your neck, and all the way through the skull to the front of your head. So we're trying to work through the bottom of your feet, creating good length and compression by putting your whole body weight down. You can roll through the heel in the plantar fascial area. And you can also do a little check to see if it has changed any length. So by doing a bent over stretch like this, hamstring stretch, you can notice if you're really, really tight, uh, tension of unwinding through the low back into the hamstrings. Make sure that you roll through both sides of the feet so you have balance in both feet and balance in all of the roots of your body. You can also do some shin angle, creating some good shin angle at the same time, affecting that back line. If your feet are really, really tight, progress towards a harder ball. In the Travel Roller Acupressure Kit, there's three different densities. The soft, which is the yellow, medium is the orange, and red is the hardest. Okay, so we got the balls. You can also use the travel roller with the feet, creating a good calf stretch and unwinding the fascia um, on the travel roller as well. Okay, so the second exercise I want you to do is to unwind your hip flexors. So our hip flexors get really, really tight being in a sitting position, riding a bicycle, driving a car, doing kip-ups and burpees and lots of core exercises. So our psoas and our hip flexors get really, really tight. So what we want to do is we want to work on the superficial front line, which runs all the way to the front of the body, all the way up through the neck. So we want to work on that area. So by doing this, we're actually going to roll our hip flexors using the travel roller. Because the travel roller is nice and small, you can really get into this intricate area because it's firm enough. So what I want you to do is not just roll, but I want you to work cross fiber to try to unwind those layers of the fascia. You can also get deeper by putting the roller at an angle, deeper into that hip flexor. You can kind of go from the hip flexor towards the IT bend, and relaxing your entire body in this position. I also like to do an upper dog stretch at the same time to really get a, the psoas to stretch out at the same time as the hip flexor and opening up my superficial front line. So that's a really great one. You can kind of alternate that within a prep style workout into an upper dog, flexing the glutes, thrusting the hips forward, and make sure you do both sides on that as well. So the third one I want you to do is the adductors. So if you want to be squatting, jumping higher, and deadlifting, you're definitely going to want to have really nice, supple inner thighs. So by putting the roller in your adductors like this, you're able to get really, really deep into the inside of the thigh. 
can do some active movements, cross fiber again, rocking, changing, or you're going to put the roller towards the knee, towards the hip, and you can also use the travel roller on a chair or a couch or a coffee table works best, and you can massage in cross fiber again by just wiggling your hips forward like this, or actually just your leg like this. So this way you're really get to, able to get nice and deep because the travel roller is 4.3 inches in diameter, you can get deep into these areas. So try that out, make sure your roots are strong and you're um, stable all over the place but you're mobile so you can withstand the wind and the storm for your, your back to be as healthy as possible. So you can pick up a travel roller, add up today and uh, good luck on your journey.